Good evening, welcome to another edition of Ziggy's Rants. And today my rant is about um, the debate that's just finished in Holyrood uh, about repealing the hate, this awful hate law. Now, I'll go through a few things. I've wrote them down. I watched it for the last three hours or so. So um, it, it's just, and it's only just finished. So I just want to go through a few points. Russell Findlay opened, of the Conservatives, opened a motion to repeal the hate, hate, hate law. And within three seconds of him standing up, he hardly got the motion out when Keith Brown, the very own Keith Brown, uh, asked for an intervention. And the arrogance is what we see from the SNP now. It was a quick intervention of... I hope everyone knows that this will not be repealed. It will not be voted on and um, it's not going to happen. That was his intervention in the first three seconds of Russell Finlay opening the motion. I want to go through a few things that that um, I saw, I, I heard during the, this so-called debate because it, it, um, it reminded me of primary school uh, the debating skills, we don't see debate anymore in Hollywood. It's 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 gone. We've we've got kids acting out in the playground. Uh, we had now they put the motion to repeal the law, and we had um, the SMP. I've written it down. Sabone Sabone Brown, the SMP who was representing the SM, the government's position. And she talked about misinformation. And that came up a lot during the debate, misinformation. Now, within a couple of minutes of saying we have a lot of misinformation, she actually gave misinformation. She said this is the same law as what's in England and Wales, when we know full well that it's not the same law uh, you ask like um Q Q QCs like Roddy Dunlop who have stated and explained why this is not the same law as England and Wales but yet we get the misinformation from the SNP while complaining about misinformation so that was one point the uh, the second was the amount of attacks and personal attacks we saw from the SNP towards the Conservatives. We see it every time. We see it all the time. Instead of debating the actual merits of each person's uh, complaints and the law, we saw attacks about misinformation. Now, a number of times, Russell Findlay had an intervention and asked a, a, a simple question from the SNP members of the SNP that are there, because there wasn't a lot there, to name one incident from any of the MSP conservatives that was misinformation, that any of the misinformation came for any of the MSPs, conservative MSPs in parliament. He asked every one, and not one of them, could answer him. Not one of them said, well, you've given misinformation by saying this or this. Not once. They'd never answered, but they kept on attacking the Conservatives with the same attack. Everyone that stood up. It took the sensible person in the SNP, Fergus Ewing, to try and push the debate like an adult. He was the only one, and he stood up and he and he and he countered, because the attacks from the SNP were, well, you don't want any hate law, so you are leaving these vulnerable people open to attacks. You want them to be attacked. You don't care if they get attacked. You want to uh, uh, repeal all the hate law and the previous hate law and leave us with no protection whatsoever. That was said time and time and time by every SNP 
member that stood up. It took Fergus Ewing to try and put some order into it. And he stated, it's ridiculous to think that anybody in this parliament wants to leave vulnerable people open to hate, hate attacks or vulnerable sections of the public to hate attacks. Nobody wants that. And to try and, and to say that about anybody in, the, in parliament brings the debate down to child level. It's a tax that we don't need to see. We need a proper debate. That's what he was trying to say. But he was ignored. And in time and time again, it was the same kind of a tax. Now, I found it interesting Labour's response to this because I was wondering how they were going to, uh, um, because they voted for it, how they would uh, see this going forward, whether they would repeal it or not vote for it. Now, they never, they were asked the question by the Conservative MSP on whether they were going to vote to repeal it. They, weren't, they wouldn't answer. We had um, Polly McNeil, who was the spokesperson for Labour, and they wanted to put in an amendment for, um, for sex to be included in the hate bill which is a, a sensible request. Uh, I would prefer if they voted to repeal it, but at least that's something that, that should be added. But what I found out, which I was quite shocked at, is the misog misogyny bill that the SNP want to bring forward that's saying that will uh, protect women's rights. And they said they want to do it, that they're going to bring that in. It's going to take four years. Yes, four years before that will become law. That's, that's just not acceptable. That's ridiculous. And the question has to be asked, and it was asked on a number of occasions by Labour and by Conservative, why this wasn't added to the hate bill in the first place and why Humza rejected it and voted it down when it was going through committee. So it just shows you um, women's rights are just an afterthought. It's because they're getting so much grief that um, they, they, they want to now add it, but it's going to take four years. So that, that that's something that came out of it. Another thing... Um, uh, and you instated this as well. There was 30 non-crime incidents recorded in the first couple of weeks of this new law. That's 30 people that haven't had the right to respond to being put on the list of a non-crime incidents. 30 people that haven't even been informed that they're on this list. And that goes against any kind of um, justice in this country. You have the right to answer uh, an allegation being put against you. They have the right to know about the allegation and you have the right to answer that allegation. That's fundamental in, in our, uh, our society, but it is not anymore. And I think that's what... Uh, Fergus Ewing was, was stating he was the only one with a bit of sense in the SNP, to be honest with you, because all the SNP did was attack Conservatives. And there was this idea that there's groups are going around now uh, that are bad actors in Scotland. Groups who are making false allegations, using up police time, making false allegations to try and damage this law what these groups are, they, they never mentioned. They never mentioned names of any groups. They never said who they are. They never said um, why, who they support. They were just called bad actors. So basically, if you are against, like myself and like others, like most of, of, of Scotland, are against this hate law, we are bad actors. We are bad actors. We're not just far right, we're bad actors. 
which just shows you how out of step the SNP are with the general public. They're living in a bubble where they think they are superior and they are they are always right and they are acting on behalf of Scotland's po uh, population when in reality they are not. They are out of step, they're not listening and they're not paying attention. So we are at now, um, there was a debate, but there was no vote. Uh, they've moved on to another motion. So there's been no vote. I don't know if there's if, if when when this vote's going to happen. But um, the debate was pretty pitiful and um, doesn't show Holyrood in a good light at all. It really doesn't. And the, the and the attacks and unnecessary attacks. Keith Brown got up and spoke. And he spoke about respect and listening and respect while then throwing out real nasty uh, attacks on the Conservatives in Parliament, real personal attacks. So where's the respect there? You only get respect if you're not a Conservative. If you if you if you vote conservative or you're a conservative, you don't earn you don't get respect. Everyone else, yeah, that, that that's okay. If you're an SNP or you're a nationalist, you get respect from these people. But if you're an opposition, no, you don't get any respect. We, they're not listening. So that's where we are with the um, with the so-called uh, debate. Now we wait to see when or if there's going to be a vote. I don't believe this will be repealed. I really don't. Uh, we'll see what happens in the near future. So that's my rant over for this afternoon. Uh, like, put your thumbs up if uh, please, or helps. And please subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand followers, uh, subscribers. I've got um, another eighty or so to go. So if you if you uh, please subscribe and I'll, um, until then, I'll uh, wish you a good evening and uh, speak again.